I'm not hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here. You know who I'm with. Papa Gun's over here. Show him, man. Show him, man. Yeah, there we go. So, we're going to go over this week's Tabata Tuesday workout for you. So, for this workout, we're going to have five sets of two exercises 20 seconds hard work, 10 seconds to switch between exercises, four sets of each, and we're going to go through all five just one time. You ready, Papa Gun? Ready? Okay, so here we go. Exercise number one. We're going to start with some burpees. So, kick those feet back, explode up, get those feet outside your hands and reach the ceiling here. You can do step back burpees one leg at a time here. You can also do drop squats, you can do jump squats, or air squats here, whatever works best for you. So you can work as hard as you can for that 20 seconds. Then we're going down to the floor. We're going to work some bird dogs here. So you have two options. You can start on those hands and knees. You can also get onto our, some of our blue core if you like. We're reaching with that opposite hand and foot here. Nice neutral spine here. Reach with that heel, pull those toes. You can hold this position, or you can have that repetition in where you bring that knee and elbow together in that midline going back and forth here. You'll do one side for one set. When we come back to it, you'll do the other arm and legs. You can get two sets in on each side here. Then we're gonna go to our second set of exercises. If you're gonna use some of the blue core, where the heck these kettlebells come from? We're gonna start with our mountain climbers here. You can get those sliders under those feet pushing the ground away from you. Really extend out with that other leg as you drive that knee up here. You can go without the sliders as well, driving one knee up at a time, or you can hold that plank for that 20 seconds if you need to. Our second exercise, you're gonna roll over to your backs here, and we're gonna do some milgill crunches. So you're gonna get one leg straight and one leg bent. It doesn't matter which leg. Get the palms of your hands face down under the small of your back. Pull those elbows up off the floor as you curl up here, walling up those abs. When you feel your lower back pressing into the floor, that's as far as you're gonna go. So we're not trying to come all the way up into a crunch here. We're really gonna isolate those abdominals on this one and keep those hip flexors neutralized on this one. From there, we're gonna go to our third set of exercises. We're gonna start with our suspension trainers and we're gonna do our rows here. So leaning straight back, Moving plank position here, toes pulled up, glutes squeeze tight, deep breath in as you go down, push that air out as you squeeze those shoulder blades, pushing that air out, pulling yourself up. If you want to make this heavier, you step further in. If you need to make it lighter, you just step a little bit further out. Our second exercise in this group is our dead bugs. You come back down to that blue floor on the platform, it's up to you. Hands and so give your arms pointed toward the ceiling, feet are up like they're resting on a chair, and we're gonna extend one arm and leg at a time. Push that air out to get your lower back pressed into the floor, and then reach with that arm and leg here, nice and controlled, pressing that heel away, reaching with that arm, walling up those abs, resisting that extension. We don't want to be arching our back as we reach here and just alternate sides on that one. Then from there. We're come back up and we're gonna bring those back the box over and we're gonna start with some power step ups. Now, if you wanna challenge yourself here, add some resistance, we're gonna use that sandbag over that shoulder. We're going up and over here, floating up off that box, trying to drive that box right on the floor, jumping off of it. You can also do this without the sandbag, of course, and if you need to take the impact out, you can also just step up side to side on this one. The second exercise this group, you're going to need a kettlebell or dumbbell here, and we're going to do a plank row, we're going to use the box for a little bit of assistance here, so it's going to get us up a little bit higher, squeeze those glutes, wall up those abs, don't let those hips shift on you, push that box into the ground with one arm as you squeeze that shoulder blade to pull that dumbbell up, you'll do one set on one arm when we come back to this exercise, You'll do the other arm here, and so you get two sets in on each side. And then our last set of exercises here, you're gonna grab a kettlebell, and we're gonna do our kettlebell clean. So, get that kettlebell set up between those toes, neutral spine here, yank that kettlebell, using those legs to get that kettlebell moving here, and then catch it at your chest. I want you to yank it up so fast and so hard that if you didn't catch it, it would fly through the ceiling, squeeze those glutes nice and controlled on the way down. And our last exercise today is our ISO hold push-up. So, get in that plank position, squeeze those shoulder blades, get that chest just up off the floor. If you're squeezing your hands together here to get those pecs engaged, squeeze those glutes, Kneecaps pulled up toward the hips, wall up those abs and deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. When you breathe out, I want you to focus on really walling up those abs and feeling that exhalation through those abs here. Okay, 
Great job, man. That is our Tabata Tuesday workout for you. Great job.